What did Lionel Messi say just moments before winning the World Cup? That's what fans have been asking themselves after this clip was released. A video of La Polga has started circulating where he can be seen saying six words before Gonzalo Montiel stepped up to take Argentina's decisive penalty in the shootout against France. So if you want to know what he said, stay right here. Back on the 18th of December 2022, Argentina took on France in the World Cup final. A lacklustre one-sided affair sparked into life in a matter of moments. Leading 2-0 at the break, Argentina had successfully nullified a tepid France, but all of that changed thanks to an inspired Kylian Mbappe. Moments after converting a penalty for France, he made it a quick-fire double with a sumptuous volley to take the tie to extra time. Argentina then retook the lead through Messi before Mbappe equalised once again with a second penalty. This 2022 World Cup final was going down to the wire. Both Mbappe and Messi converted their respective spot kicks. Komen missed his for the French before Dybala put the Albi Celeste ahead. Schuermeni then put his effort wayward, allowing Paredes to make it a 3-1 lead. Randal Kolo Mouani kept France in it before Gonzalo Montiel stepped up to score and secure Argentina's third World Cup crown. But it was just prior to the Sevilla star's effort that Messi murmured this now infamous phrase, it could be today, Grandma. An emotional moment that hints at Lionel Messi's special relationship with his late grandmother. Journalist Roy Nemer corroborated the claims and it's true that Lionel Messi was snapped murmuring something just before Montiel slotted the ball home. Now, we're not lip reading experts, but Nemer's claims do make sense. La Polga is known to have had a special bond with his grandmother who passed away when Messi was just 11 years old. And it's widely believed that his signature celebration, the one where he points up to the sky, is in tribute to his beloved abuela. It was her that dragged Lionel Messi to his first local football pitch. So really, we should be thanking her for all the amazing memories that Lionel Messi has given us. So it is entirely plausible that just moments before the biggest win of his career, that he'd think of the person that helped start him on that journey. A poetic end, some might say. But sticking with that dramatic World Cup final now, and Christian Romero has revealed what possessed him to hurl abuse at Kylian Mbappe after Lionel Messi scored Argentina's third goal in extra time. Long into the aftermath of Argentina's World Cup victory, a video started circulating of the Tottenham Hotspur defender turning to say something to the PSG man while all his teammates wheeled away in celebration. One of many examples of Argentina players targeting the Bondi-born native. In an interview with Argentina radio station D Sports, Romero sought to justify himself. I celebrated the goal in Mbappe's face because Enzo Fernandez told me that he spoke to him and he'd been really nasty, so I celebrated Leo's goal right in front of him. Well, it doesn't look like his unsavoury tactics did anything to unsettle the star as he coolly tucked away that penalty just minutes later. Romero then admitted to having wanted to face France before heaping praise on their very own magician, Lionel Messi. I watch the final every day. I always wanted to face France in the final as they were the world champions. It was a difficult game given their standing. From a footballing point of view, we know what Messi represents. For me and for many others, he's the best ever. He has this normality and humility to him that makes him even better. But let's move on to Lionel Scaloni's revelations now, and more precisely, his thoughts on Emi Martinez's antics. So, what do you first think of when Emi Martinez's name crops up? His lewd gesture as he collected the Golden Glove Award? Or his numerous taunts of Kylian Mbappe during Argentina's elongated celebrations? Nevertheless, Scaloni was quizzed on his shot stopper's behaviour during an interview with Spanish radio station cope. And for the Argentine tactician, his antics are just part of his charm. He's a spectacular kid. He's a baby. It's incredible how good of a kid he is. You should meet him. He was one of the revelations of the tournament and he brought us so much joy. He's got a personality that brings a lot to the group. He's got certain traits, but he's a baby. A baby? A 30-year-old baby? That's a new one. Despite the bitter fallout, Emi Martinez was one of the first players to console Kylian Mbappe after France's defeat. Following Argentina's historical World Cup win, Lionel Scaloni now has a big decision on his hands as to whether to remain in his role as manager or not. He's under contract until 2026, but he's yet to confirm his next steps. I'll be going to Buenos Aires in the coming days. I hope to sit down with the president of the FA and see if we can come to some form of agreement on what to do. So what do you think Scaloni should do? 
carry on, or quit while he's ahead and bask in the glory of his success. PSG take on a Saudi-based All-Star 11 on Thursday, an encounter that will see Cristiano Ronaldo reunited with his arch nemesis, Lionel Messi. In a highly anticipated exhibition match, Messi and co will take on a side that comprises of the best players from the two Saudi sides, Al Halal and Al Nasir. And the occasion will mark Cristiano Ronaldo making his debut playing in Saudi Arabia after the Portuguese star was forced to serve a two-match suspension for smashing an Everton fan's phone during his time at Manchester United. With PSG fresh off the back of their defeat against Rennes, will they have enough to win this encounter? Prior to this star-studded affair, an advisor to the Saudi royal family, Turki Al Sheikh, the man that gave CR7 the captain's armband yesterday, launched a charitable auction. The prize was a ticket to the game alongside some other VIP perks, including a photo shoot session and visiting of the dressing rooms. Bidding started at a staggering 260 $6,000, but that price was only going to climb and climb and climb until it was eventually won by a Saudi businessman. The man in question would eventually fork out a staggering $2.6 million for the golden ticket. Jeez, for that price you'd hope he'd get a decent snap with Ronaldo, Mbappe and Messi. But speaking of Mbappe, he was in jovial mood during his side's trip to Saudi Arabia. He donned a flight attendant's uniform and directed his teammates and club staff to their places. <laughs> this way, Qatar ways, welcome on board. This way, this way, this way. Who else would love to have Mbappe aboard their flight? Another star caught the headlines last night too, and that was the veteran striker Luis Suarez. The Uruguayan netted a stunning hat-trick on his debut for Brazilian side Gremio. At the ripe age of 35, it looks as though Suarez is still going to be terrorising defenders wherever he goes. The former Barcelona man was given a rapturous welcome upon his unveiling to the club on the 31st of December, and he wasted no time whatsoever in endearing himself to the fans by scoring in just the fourth minute of the Recopa Gaucha final against Sao Luis. In what was just his first game for the club, he completed his hat-trick before half-time. Speaking at the break, Suarez declared, I think it's my best debut at a club. I also made a good start at Atletico. I think it's down to my mentality. We're playing a final. We owe it to ourselves to play like that today. And thanks to that star contribution from Suarez, Gremio won 4-2. Right, that's all from us for today. I'll be back again tomorrow for more news from the footballing world. So in the meantime, take care and as always, football forever.